Hi guys, this is Leo Gensky, and I've decided to make a small video tutorial about Street Fighter 4 costume toggler because I've been getting lots of questions about it uh, and uh, people don't seem to really know how to use it effectively so I hope I can help you out so first let's launch uh, Street Fighter 4 but before let me just give the credits to the author of this tool it's not me it's Ranchak over at Game Vixen Zone awesome tool by the way so this tool allows you to for those of you who don't know this tool allows you to um, access the alternate costume slot for your character instead of the normal one okay so let's launch Street Fighter 4 and after you've launched Street Fighter 4 you can launch the costume toggler here it is okay now you have F9, F10, F11 and F12 uh, and basically all you need is F9 and F11. F9 is for player 1 and F11 is for player 2. I'll show you how this works. So first off, let's choose two players Street Fighter 4. and make sure in mode and make sure if they are using the normal costume. So Ryu and chun -Li. Okay, here they are with their normal costumes applied. Now, I want the alternate costumes for Ryu and Chun-Li. How do I do this? First off, character selection screen. Okay, now, this only works in the character selection screen. So first off, don't press F9 or F11 if you're not in this screen, okay? Now, in this screen, uh, before picking your character, press F9 if you want uh, player 1 to uh, use the alternate slot and press F11 if you want player 2 to use the alternate slot. Okay, in this case I want both player 1 and player 2 to use the alternate slots. So, F9, there it is, on, and F11, there it is, on. So, both player 1 and player 2 will be wearing their alternate costumes. Okay, now I'm going to select a character. Or right, for player 1, I'm going to select Chun Li. Okay, I'm going to switch things around. Now, this part is also very important. You're, you, you have selected your character and now you're in the color selection. Okay, And uh, as you can see, color 1 of the normal costume is selected. How do I know this? Because color 1 of the normal costume is blue, but color 1 of the alternate costume is black. So if I don't see a black rectangle with uh, one in here, I'm not in the alternate mode yet. But I've pressed F9, so uh, that must mean that must mean sorry that uh, I'm missing a step, and so I am. So in order for you to actually apply this correctly, you have to cycle through at least one color before. Uh, you can change to the alternate costume. So I need, after I press F9, I need to cycle to at least a different color and then the alternate costume will be applied. So in Chun Li's case, because I want color 1, I'm just going to go forward to color 2 and back to color 1 and here he is. Okay? So I'm now in the alternate mode. Now for Ryu. I want the alternate costume as well, so I'm going to select Ryu, and just the same as Chen, I have to go forward one color and backwards one, clo one color, and now I'm in alternate costume mode, so now I can select any of these colors that they will be applied to the alternate costume. Now for Ryu, it's a little bit harder to know if the alternate costume is correctly applied, because uh, for the normal costume and for the alternate costume, both of them have white as their color one okay but i'm going to trust in the costume toddler that he did his job correctly and both of them will be wearing they are with the alternate costumes so this is how you use the the costume toddler to uh, access the alternate costume slot okay now if i go to character change again 
This part is also important. So, uh, if I go to the character selection screen again, and I press Chun Li, and I go forward and backwards, okay, I'm still in the alternate costume mode. Now, I want to select normal again. How do I do it? Well, as I, as you can see, I have F9 still on, so I'm going to press F9 again, and now it's off. But if I continue to cycle the colors, it's still in the alternate costume mode. So. What you need to do is, you need to go back again to the character selection, select Chun Li again, and now you have the normal costumes again. Okay? You press F9 here and cycle, you are in the alternate mode. If you press F9 again and you want to go back to the normal mode, you have to go back a step from the color selection back to character selection, select Chun Li, and now you're back to normal. Okay? So this is how you do it. Now, I'm going to switch off Ryu as well, so I'm going to press F11, now I can select Ryu, color 1, and both of them will be wearing their normal costumes, I hope. There they are. Okay, now, uh, also in this tutorial, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to explain to you how you can use the costume toggler in order to make versus battles with the same character and with costume mods apply different ones for player 1 and player 2. I've already talked about this in my Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager tutorial but I didn't actually show it to you guys working so uh, this is my chance to do it. So I'm going to make uh, Ryu versus Ryu where player 1 will be wearing uh, a costume mod and player 2 will be wearing another costume mod. How will I do this? I will apply a costume mod to player 1 in the normal slot and I'll apply uh, another costume mod to the alternate slot and then I'm going to use costume toggler to say that player 1 will be wearing the normal costume and player 2 will be wearing the alternate costume. That way I can have both uh, players with the same character but with different outfits with different mods okay so let's go and do it so first let's execute my tool Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager and I have a couple of mods here for Ryu previously added in my tutorial and okay so we can select Adidas for the for player 1 so I'm going to apply to the normal slot and I'm going to select Chris Redfield for player 2, so I'm going to apply to the alternate slot. Okay, apply. Now, I'm going to go back to the game, and now all I have to do is select Ryu normal slot for player 1 and Ryu alternate slot for player 2 and they will both have their costumes applied. Don't forget, you have to choose color 1 because Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager always applies their mods to color 1. So let's go back to character change. And in this screen here, I'm going to press... Uh, so player 1, I'm not going to press anything because I want the normal slot. So I'm going to select Ryu, color 1. Okay. And in player one, I have the Adidas outfit, so that's okay. Now, for player two, I want for you with the alternate slot. So I'm going to press F11. There it is, F11. In order for player two to use the alternate costume. Now I'm going to select you. I have to cycle through the colors and back to color one again because it's the color where Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager applies the mod, and I'm going to select it. And if everything goes well. We will have Ryu Adidas versus Ryu Chris Redfield. And here it is. So, this is how you use uh, Costume Toggler in conjunction with Custom Mod Manager in order for you to have versus battles with your friends uh, and you can both be uh, using your favorite mods. Okay? So, no more excuses for you. Um, finally, one last thing I would like to say 
and I forgot to say it in my uh, my other video tutorial about Street Fighter 4 Custom Mod Manager is that um, when you apply a costume mod okay, to slot 1 you will basically almost every time render the other slots uh, unusable so uh, colors 2 through 10 will be unusable okay so uh, this is why 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 is this because uh, color two three four five etc to ten uh, if you remember correctly from my part two of the of the Street Fighter 4 custom mod manager tutorial I explained to you that they were color files applied to a costume file imagine you apply a costume file that is not uh, uh, that wasn't made to be used in conjunction with those color files and you apply that costume mod to slot 1. What that means is that if uh, the other player, player 2, selects the same character as you and selects like color 2 or 3 or 4 while you're wearing a mod as player 1, um, several things can happen but uh, your game can crash or you can have like a, a whole grayish uh, uh, character without any colors because he tried to apply color to a costume that wasn't uh, sp uh, specifically made to be used in conjunction with that color. So every time you want to uh, battle uh, in versus mode wearing uh, costume mods, I uh, truly recommend you use costume toggler in, or uh, in order for you to uh, be able to do it without any problems okay so both of you uh, select uh, color one but one of you will be wearing the normal slot and the other one will be wearing the alternate slot that way there are no collisions there are no um, there there are no collisions there are no problems okay so this is my recommendation to you so uh, that's basically it uh, and I hope this uh, little video tutorial helped you guys and happy modding and happy street fighting. Bye.